All right, everybody. So in our last lesson, you learned about slope. And you learned um, that slope has to do with the steepness of a given line, right? Um, and that you can have a positive slope, you can have a negative slope. So what we're going to be doing in this lesson is a little bit kind of in reverse. Um, rather than being given a line and asked to find the slope of the line, you're going to be given both a point on a line and the slope of the line, and you're going to graph it. Okay, so when we're doing this, again, there's two pieces of information given to us, all right? The, the, the thing is you have to know which one to start with, whether it's going to be the point or the slope. Now, if you were to start with the slope, okay, we don't really know where to start from, right? The whole point of slope is it's the rise and run from one point on your line to the other, okay, to another point on the line. So you need a first point. So that's where this first ordered pair, this point, comes from. So this 2 comma 2, remember that x is first and then y is second. So we're going to go ahead, sorry for all the noise, that is my cat attacking my chapstick. <laughs> Let's try this again. Um, so again, the first point in an ordered pair is the x value and the x, on the x-axis, the second is the y value. Okay? It's important to know this distinction because um, it's kind of, it feels kind of flip-flop from slope. So I'll point that out when we do the slope portion. So I'm going to go ahead and graph this point first. So 1, 2 on the x, up 1, 2 on the y. So there's our first point on our line. After that, we're going to use our slope. So I'm going to go ahead and write this. Notice that this negative sign, um, we're going to go ahead and let's assign it to either the numerator or the denominator. It does not matter which, but it should be assigned to one of them so you don't accidentally forget it. So negative 3 over positive 2. This is our slope, okay, our m value. Now remember, it is rise over run. And because the rise is negative, that means we're actually going down by 3. Run, meaning left and right. Since it's positive, we're going to the right. Okay, I like to write these arrows to really make sure we're doing this the correct direction. So we're going to go ahead and rise or you know, lower down 3. 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to run to the right by 1, 2. Okay, so take note. This is the part that could be confusing sometimes. When we're doing an ordered pair, okay, we do the x first, which is horizontal, and then we go up. With slope, we're doing the up and down, okay, our rise first, and then after that we're doing the horizontal run. So it's kind of flip-flops. So you have to be very careful you don't mix those up. All right, so I, now I have two points, okay? Two points is really all you need in order to graph um, ordered pairs. I'm going to go ahead, or to graph a line. I'm going to make this a little darker because it's kind of hard to see. I think that's a little better. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and connect that with a line. Okay, we like to make our line go all the way through. Um, alternatively, okay, let's just say for a second that we did not have enough space to fit our uh, point down here. Or maybe uh, I just require you to include extra points. We can also go ahead and change this negative sign to the bottom. So we have 3 over negative 2. Take note that these have the same value. Okay. So now when we rise, we're going up 3. And instead of going right, we're going left 2 because it's negative. So from this point, I can go up 1, 2, 3. And go to the left 1, 2. And notice that's right where our uh, graph was in the first place. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and jump to number 11. I'm going to leave these other two for you to do. So on number 11, um, it says it has a slope, we're going to graph a line, it has a slope of negative 5, and it goes through the point 0, negative 1. So remember, once again, we're going to start with our point first. So I'm going to write x, y to remind myself. So for x, I'm not moving left and right at all, but I'm going down negative 1. Okay, there's my first point. Now from your first point, we can use a slope. Now notice that this slope only has, like there is no, it's not a fraction, right? So if we want to put it as, if we want to use rise over run, we should go ahead and make that number into a fraction. Okay, so we're going to add a 1 underneath, or put a 1 over. Um, and now when we do rise over run, I'm going to write it again as rise over run. Rise being negative is going down, run being positive is going to the right. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and start from this point, and we're going to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, okay, so 5 would be going off my graph. Okay, so I actually don't want to use this in this way. Instead, I'm going to switch that negative sign. So basically what this means is you're going to change the sign of both the top and the bottom. So if they were both uh, positive, you make them both negative. Um, if the negative was in the bottom, you bring it up to the top. So here we go. 
I'm going to make this 5 over a negative 1. And now I'm going to determine my directions, positive being up and negative being left. So here I go. I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to go to the left by 1. There we go. And now we can go ahead and connect this to make our line that has a slope of negative 5 and going through the point 0, negative 1. All right, now we're going to go ahead down here, take a look at these two. And I'm actually going to jump back up here for a quick check that we're going to use from this. All right, so this says to tell whether the following lines have a positive or negative slope without even figuring out the, the actual numerical slope. Okay, so just by looking at this, if you remember that slope dude um, video that we had used, when the line slants up from left to right, okay, kind of like the skier is going up that line, he's going puff, puff, positive. Okay, so this is a positive slope. Positive just by looking at it. This one right here, okay, slanting downward from left to right, and if the, uh, the dude is skiing down it, draw a little skier. He's going down here. Um, give him ski poles. He's going down and that he's like, nice, negative. So this is a negative slope, okay? So if we go ahead now, I wanna apply this to do a quick little check on these. So I want you to do this every single time that you graph a slope, okay? So what you're gonna do is just look at this real quick. All right, this is nice negative, and my slope was negative to begin with. Okay, cool, that's what we were expecting. Okay, right here, let's check it as well. This is as well a negative slope, and it was supposed to be with negative five. So I always want you to do that check. It takes two seconds, and if it saves you one time, you know, it, it was worth it.